Good morning. How is everyone today? I am Anna Walker, otherwise known as Felt It, and I'm happy to be here with you this morning. Um, first, shout out to yesterday's craft. Um, here is our bird ornament, our string and glue ornament that we used a bird shape cookie cutter for. Nice and dry, and now it's ready for us to hang it and let it hang in a window or outside the front door or put on a package or on a card. So I hope that your ornaments turned out really well as um, just as well as this one did. Um, today's project, usually you see me working with felt and fiber and we're doing a little fiber work today. We're gonna make these cool pom-pom flowers and they're very easy to do. And it's just gonna take us um, a little bit of time and just a few supplies. So, so let's go ahead and move the camera and get to it. All right, so you can see, I'm trying to get my light up here. So we've got a little light on the subject. Let's see if we can move this down a little. All right, so we have some yarns. Some of them are really light, but they're fuzzy. Some of them are medium weight and a little fuzzy. Some are really wacky fuzzy. And then we've got this thicker yarn here. So the, the secret to doing these pom-pom flowers is to have um, yarns that will fluff up, okay? So we wanna have fluffy kind of yarns. Now this one is gonna make a much smaller flower than what this one will. That's why I'm going to do one of each of these four yarns so that you can see what the difference would be depending on the yarn that you're using, okay? We're also going to need some chenille stems or pipe cleaners. We're going to need some string, and I have already cut off pieces the right length here. And we're going to need a toilet paper tube and some scissors. That's all we're going to need for today's craft. So let's get started. The tube we are going to use as our base for wrapping our yarns around so that we've got our pom-pom base made and then we'll slip it off of here and we'll tie it up with the string and the chenille stems, okay? So we're gonna do one at a time and I think I wanna do this really thin one first because this one's gonna be a little trickier than some because it's a very, very fuzzy yarn we're gonna to need to use a lot of it because it's a very thin yarn. And we are just going to take, hold it in place. Now, if you need help holding it in place, I put a little notch down here at one side so we can just put the yarn in that little notch right there and then bring it forward and we're just gonna start wrapping. And we're just gonna wrap around, not super tight. We just want this wrapped around and around and around and around. And because this is a thin yarn, we're gonna wrap it around a lot of times. I'm gonna move this over to this side so that it'll pull from the right way. I'm gonna pull some more out. Now this is a mohair yarn, and mohair is what gives it that fluffy and fuzzy kind of look. And I'm just gonna to continue to wrap here until we've got a really good amount going here. And we're just wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping and wrapping until we've got a, you know, a decent amount on here. And I'm thinking that this is gonna work out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and trim it. We'll find out if it works really well, won't we? And I'm just gonna slide it right off the end, trying really hard not to mess up that circle of fibers that I've got. If I can get it off of one end, I can usually do that. Okay, so we've got our circle of fibers here. And you see how I'm putting my two fingers in the middle of that circle? See? Then I'm gonna take the string and I'm gonna wrap the string all the way around. So I'm just gonna tuck the string right in between my fingers so that it will give me a nice knot right here in the middle of this all the way around. Now I'm gonna tie the first part of this knot with just my one hand, so it's gonna be tricky. You might get some help from mom or a sister or a brother who's standing next to you, but if you get the yarn around and you've got the first part of the knot started, you can then take and you can pull that super tight, okay? And then we're doing the other part of the knot 
and we're doing a surgeon's knot because we want this to stick together. We're pulling it really tight. And then what we're gonna do is in the holes that are left, we're gonna put the scissors and we're gonna open up our pom-pom. Now, this is a really small pom-pom, but see how much fuzz we've got there? And I'm just sort of twisting and fluffing up that pom-pom. Now, when you're doing pom-pom, sometimes you'll get these little pieces that'll be longer than the stuff above, and you can take your scissors and you can just trim that off just like trimming the hedge outside, or if you have to use a weed whacker to help mom or dad with the lawn work. You know how sometimes there are some pieces that stick up a little bit longer, and so we just trim that off until it's even, and there's our pom-pom. Now, we've got the pom-pom, how are we gonna make it into a flower? Well, we're gonna take a chenille stem, and we're gonna take that chenille stem, and we're gonna put it, I'm gonna find the middle of the chenille stem, okay? So there's my middle right there. I'm gonna put the strings right through there and I'm gonna pull it really, really tight. And I'm gonna twist that chenille stem really, really tight along that knot that we just made to make our pom-pom. And this is gonna be the stem of our flower. And because it's two strands, it's a lot thicker and it'll help hold the top of the flower up a little bit better. And once we've got those strands up there holding it really tight, we can trim off the tails of our string that's holding it in place and keep twisting our flower stem. And that's how easy it is to make a pom-pom flower. I love them because they're so fluffy and when you use different um, yarns it, you get different textures and it just makes for a very, very pretty centerpiece of flowers. And these are flowers that you can, you know, make a batch that are in spring colors and put them out in the spring. Make a batch that are in summer colors and put them out in the summer. I'm just going to tuck each of these into our vase as we're going along and you'll see the different textures. Now I'm going to do this one next, same way. This is a thicker yarn, so we probably won't need as much yarn to be able to give us that fluffy status that we're looking for. And I am unraveling this a bit because I don't want to have to worry about my yarn ball falling over someplace. And I don't have a yarn ball right now. So this is my way to you know, pull this out a little bit loose. Now, once again, we're getting our toilet paper tube. I'm gonna look for my notch. There's my notch right there. And I actually have a piece of paper that's coming off too. <clears throat> There's my notch right there. You see the notch? And so I'm gonna take the yarn and I'm gonna park it in the notch. And then I'm gonna start wrapping. Again, we're not wrapping super, thin, super um, tight we are wrapping relatively thick because we want fluffy pom-poms for our flowers. And it's just, you know, you can count how many rotations you do, but honestly, it's gonna be different for each um, type of yarn that you use. I probably will have used a lot more wraps of this thinner um, yarn to get enough fluff here. I'm not gonna need quite as many wraps on this yarn because it's a little thicker. And so it'll fluff out a little easier. I'm going to give it just another couple of wraps. Move things out of the way. Let's just give it a couple more wraps and then we'll tie it off. All right, trimming it off, moving my yarn ball aside. Remember, we're just going to slide it right off the end of the toilet paper tube. We're going to put our fingers right in the middle here. See, my fingers are right in the middle. I'm gonna twist this just a little bit. There we go. Now I need a piece of my string. Not that piece. Those are the leftover pieces that should be in my trash pile. Have your table organized. You wanna make sure you can grab what you need to grab. Okay, so I'm gonna slide the string between my fingers. 
pull it out the other side, wrap it all the way around. Hold it nice and tight there while I put it down and tie my knot. Just want to make sure you hold your loops of yarn in place while you're doing this so that you don't lose those centers and then tie our second part of the knot. First part is right over left and under, second part is right over left, left over right and under and under. And then we've got a nice tight knot that's going to stay there. Now we're going to use our scissors. Now this one's gonna be a little trickier because this yarn is a little thicker, so we might miss a loop or two and have to come back and cut those loops after we've gotten the big portion of them done. Find the center and then see if you've got any loops left over. And then we've got a nice fluffy pom-pom flower again. And so let's take and let's trim off our edges here. Because we want to make sure that the bottom ones are a little shorter than the top ones so that it looks nice and fluffy instead of straggly. And it doesn't take a lot of trimming, but that's all we need to do. And then we've got our flower ready to put our stem on. I'm going to grab a green one this time. I'm going to find the very center here. And in this one, because the yarn is so thick, it gave me a little bit of a gap in the knot there. So I am going to push the chenille stem right underneath the knot because I want to make sure that I hold this super duper tight. And I'm going to be very careful to hold all of my yarn into place while I pull this to the center. And then I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna pull it really tight and start twisting. Get these chenille stems to behave here. And just start twisting. I find it easier to twist the chenille stems when I open up the legs of the chenille stem and I just twist right here in the center. I think it gives me a better hold. Now that I know that I've got this held in place, I'm gonna trim off the tails, not too close to the knot. See, I'm leaving a little bit, there we go, leaving a little bit of space between the scissors and the knot. And I'm just trimming off, and then we'll keep twisting our stem until we get to the very bottom. And we will have another pom-pom flower. It's just twisting that chenille stem, that pipe cleaner, until we get to the very bottom. And then there we go. We've got a nice little floppy pop, floppy pom-pom flower. And there, our bouquet is growing and growing and growing. So let's do this one next. And then we'll do the really thick yarn at the very end. So this is a fuzzy yarn that's actually made up of two or three strands. You can see right in here. It's got two or three strands of different kinds of threads. Um, so this is going to give us a really unique look for our next flower. And even though it's thin and we will use quite a number of rotations on it, it's still gonna add up really, really fast. So let's find our end here. Let's get our toilet paper tube here. Let's find our notch, there it is. And we wanna make sure we get those anchored in there. We wanna make sure we get all of the threads. When you've got a, a novelty yarn like this, we wanna make sure you get all those threads in there. And then we're just gonna wrap loosely but not really loosey-goosey, okay? Now this is gonna look like a lot right at the very start, and that's because of all these fluffies that are sticking out. So it's gonna be hard to sort of figure out, okay, have I gone all the way around enough times? Do I need to go around some more? And I just sort of eyeballed 
the amount of um, thread that we've got here. And I'm, I'm thinking just a couple more. Now, these tails here, this yarn had been tied together in the middle. So these are tails from where it got tied together. And I'll take care of those when we do the trimming of the pom-pom flower. For right now, we don't need to worry about it. But this is a fun yarn to work with because it gives you texture even without doing anything special. All right, I'm calling that good. I'm gonna trim off our yarn, move it out of the way. I'm going to slide our loops off. Make sure I've got my fingers in there. I'm gonna to switch to my other fingers. There we go, all right, so these are our tails again. We'll worry about those in a minute, but I've got my fingers here in the middle. I'm gonna take one of my pieces of string. I'm gonna put it through my fingers there, pull it up, and then come up here in the center. And I'm gonna tie this off before I take it off my fingers this first time, because this thread is so fiddly and fluffy, I can't see really well. And so for this one, I'm holding my finger down on that first part of the knot because I want it to hold in place while I do the second part of the knot. And this takes practice. You might need to get some help from someone. Maybe someone can hold their finger down while you tie the knot. All right, so we've got that done. And now this is gonna be tricky because this one is so fluffy that you can't really see where the center is. So you're just gonna make your best guess, see how much fluff there is, and see if there are some extra loops that you can find that need to be trimmed. Let's look at the other side. This is gonna make a super fluffy pom-pom flower. And it is going to have a lot of shreds that are gonna come down because of those extra bits of fiber that are all the way around. And now as I'm looking at it, I'm going to hold it so that I can see where the fluff is. Now is when I'm gonna trim off those tails. This one's gonna make a little bit of a mess. But look at the fluff that we're getting here. Isn't that cool? That's why it's fun to have different kinds of fibers around because that is one fluffy pom-pom. So let's take, I'm gonna try and get all this fluff out of the way. It's a lot of fluff. Holy cow, it's a lot of fluff. Let's just get everything slid over here to the side and then we'll put our stem on this one. I find it so interesting that the different fibers that you use to make your pom-poms, they just produce such a different look to each of the flowers. It makes them look like more realistic flowers because they've all got different textures and different colors. This one was really fluffy and that was a lot of fun to make. All right, so I'm gonna go back to the first way that we did the stem and I'm finding the middle. I'm going to get this push all the way down. Let me get my string all the way down. It's hard to see because it's so fluffy. And I'm just going to wrap very tightly around my string right where it pulled together my pom-poms and start twisting. And once I've started the twisting and some of your fluff, if you're using this kind of novelty yarn, might get caught up in the stem, that's okay. It's no big deal. And so we're just twisting. I'm gonna take a moment here real quick and I'm gonna trim off the tails without getting too close to my knot. And we'll just keep twisting our stem here until we get all the way down to the bottom. And then we'll have another fluffy pom-pom flower. This is a really easy technique. It just takes practice to be able to do the, the tying off of the pom-poms. Now there are some pom-pom um, makers, some little tools that you can get that make pom-pom making a little easier. 
but truthfully, you don't need any special tools. Um, you can use them, and if they work for you, you know, to make it easier for you to do this, then great. Um, but for me, I'll go back to just using a toilet paper tube. And there is our fluffy, funky little flower, and I'm going to put it right over here. And so we just need one more flower for the top of our display here. And I am just going to take, move some more of these fluffs off to the side, and we will make our last flower with this big, thick, bulky wool fiber. This is a yarn that has been um, made to be very, very thick and sturdy. And it's going to be interesting to see how much we need. Because it's so thick, you'd think we would need less, right? Well, like this one, I'm going to do this particular pom-pom just a tiny bit different because the yarn is so thick. And I'm going to show you a different way to tie off and set up your pom-pom to be tied off because this is going to be a bigger flower. This is going to be a fluffier flower just because of the thickness of the yarn. So I'm just unwrapping a bit. And we're going to wrap what seems like quite an awful lot around our toilet paper tube. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to anchor our yarn right here in that notch. Okay. And then we're going to start wrapping. Again, we're wrapping loosely, not tightly. We want to have some fluff in there. Oh, we've got a knot in here. Oh, see, we're close enough to the beginning that I'm going to undo this knot. I'm going to undo it and be very, very tricky about it. I'm just going to put this whole thing through and then voila, the knot's all gone. Come on, here we go. All right. It's going to seem like an awful lot. It really is. This is a big, bulky yarn, and we want to make sure that we have enough to be able to make a big, fluffy pom pom. Because this pom pom is going to have some longer threads. And I'll show you how we'll do that here in just a second. All right. I'm going to give it a couple of more twists because I want this to be nice and fluffy. And I'm going to call this good right here. Trim it off and move that out of the way. Let's wrap the rest of this around. And remember, this is a thicker yarn, so it's going to be fluffier. I unanchored it now, and I did that for a reason. Because what I want to do is put my thread through the toilet paper tube. I'm going to hold it on this end while I slide my yarn off on the other end and then I'll pull it through and you see how we've got the yarn already looped on our string and now we're ready to tie. Instead of tying over both sides of it, we're just tying over one side of it. Okay right over left and under, pull it really tight, and then left over right and under and under. And now we just need to cut the loops one time in the center. And because this is thicker yarn, I'm doing it just a few at a time here. Hook my scissors through, find where the loops are, hook them through. You see how big this is? And we're going to do a lot of trimming on this one. But I wanted us to see how fluffy we could get here. That is pretty freaking fluffy. Look at that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down about like so. And this is where I'm going to trim off those extra pieces. I'm just trimming off the things that are sticking out a lot. It doesn't have to be even. I just want to get some of those long straggly pieces out. And there we've got a really fluffy ball, right? Do we want to make it fluffier? Yes, we do. But I want to put on 
our stem first, okay? And then I'll show you how we're gonna make it fluffier. Again, this is a thicker yarn. So I'm going to hold the yarn nice and tight and I'm gonna slide the chenille stem right underneath the string where the knot is. I'm gonna pull it through to the center, okay? So we've got the chenille stem and the knot right there. We're at about the center, yep. And I'm gonna take, I'm gonna twist really, really tight right here at the knot. I'm gonna take and trim off my tails here, close, but not all the way down. Keep doing my twist, and then I'll show you how we're gonna fluff this out a little bit more. So most yarns, not all, but most yarns are made from two or three or four different individual pieces that are twisted together. That's called the ply. And they're plied together so that they twist on each other, kind of like I'm twisting the chenille stem on itself. And I'll show you when we get to the end here. There we go. So we've got our stem done. I'm gonna show you, now this is gonna take a little time. You see that twist that's in there? See those little twists? We can take and we can pull those twists apart into the individual plies, the individual pieces that were twisted together and we can fluff this out some more. Now this is gonna take a little bit of time and you don't have to go all the way down. You could just do um, part of it but you see when you untwist it, how much more fluff you get from one strand when you untwist it versus one strand twisted. Can you see that? Let me get this up here. This is the same strand, but this is untwisted and this is still twisted up. So if we take, I'm gonna have to elevate here. Here we go, this might work. If we take and we untwist each of these, and it can be as simple as just untwisting and then pulling them apart. And once you get one pulled apart, you can usually get the others pulled apart. And you'll do this for each of the strands here. So just untwist that twist. So whatever direction the twist is going, go the opposite direction, and then you can pull them out. And you see how fluffy that gets? And again, we're untwisting. Now this is gonna take some time, so I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I wanted to do enough that you could see how these untwisted and made the strands even fluffier, and that will make our flower even fluffier to look at. So you see how much extra fluff that gives us when we un, un, untwist those plies? It just makes it bouncier, doesn't it? Similar to what I did with the green over here, the big green fluffy one, I let it untwist a bit. So I want you to work on untwisting all of your strands and it just, it gives just such a beautiful look and just makes it look even fuller. And once I get done with that, I will add it to my display. But that's our project for the day. We made a passel of pom-pom flowers and I hope you had a good time. I hope you keep untwisting if you've got some thick thread, um, some thick yarn that you're using. You can have fun using almost any kind of, of yarn or string and just play around with it and see what you can put together. Make yourself a beautiful bouquet for the weekend and I will see you on Monday. Thank you for being here. Um, if you wanna learn more about felting and how I felt, then head over to stabthingsintoexistence.com you also want to go there so that you make sure that you get the email supply list for next week's pro um, projects. I'll see you later. Have a great day, everyone.